Hey everyone, today I'm going to show how you can change the default Mac OS X login wallpaper. Now just like with other versions of Mac OS X, the wallpaper on the login screen can't be changed by default and there's no option to do so. And after a while you might start to get bored with it. So today I'm going to show you how you can change that. So first of all, what you're going to need is an image that you want for your new login wallpaper background. And in this case I'm going to be using the same exact image that I have as my desktop background. And it's important that you have a wallpaper that's the same resolution as your screen. Now if you don't know what your screen resolution is, you can actually just Google it. So you can type in, what's my screen resolution? And you should see this link on the top to whatismyscreenresolution.com. And it's going to tell you right here, this case 2560 by 1440. So I know that I need images of that size. So if I go to my wallpaper here, and I right click on it and select get info, over on the side here you can see that it's actually 2560 by 1600, which is actually larger than the resolution of my monitor. But I'm going to go with it anyways, because as long as the resolution is at least what your monitor is, you're okay. Anything over is fine as well. So next you're going to need to open up a new finder window, and from here you're going to have to go to Macintosh HD. Now inside Macintosh HD you'll find the system folder, you can go in there, then library, and then if you scroll down you'll see frameworks, and from there appkit, that framework, versions, C, and finally resources. Now it's in this folder that you're going to find the default image. So if you scroll down to NS textured full screen background color .png, this is actually the image that it uses for the login screen wallpaper and it just tiles it. So what you need to do first is you need to make sure that you back up this wallpaper just in case you lose it. So I'm just going to right click and copy this and I'm going to paste it to my desktop so that I have a copy of it backed up and I'll put this in a folder. So now what I need to do is I need to make sure my regular wallpaper image is the correct format for using for my login screen. So if I open it up in something like preview I need to make sure that this image is a PNG. And mine already is, but I'm going to show you the process that you need to go through to make it one. So if you go up into preview and go to the file menu and select export, this menu will pop down and you have to make sure that the format selected is PNG. Now from here you're also going to have to change the name and you need the name to be the same as the name of the image that you just backed up. So make sure you have the correct capitalization and everything. I'm going to call this NS Textured Full Screen Background Color and .png. And then all I have to do is hit save. So this will save and now I'll see it on my desktop right here. So now all I have to do is go and drag this file into the resources folder and it's going to ask me to authenticate this because it needs to replace the item that's already in there. So I hit authenticate, I have to type in my password and once again, make sure you've backed up that other image, otherwise you'll never be able to revert to the old one, and then hit OK. So you can see here now that the new image has replaced the old linen image that was in there already. So now we're all good there, and you can close this finder window. So now from here, if you log out, you'll be able to see the new wallpaper, and it's really as simple as that. Now if you ever want to revert this back to the original linen textured wallpaper, all you're going to have to do is navigate back to that folder that we were in before and drag back in the linen textured wallpaper and replace the one that you put in there. And then it'll have returned to the default state. So there you go, that's how to change the default login wallpaper in Mac OS X. As always, if you have anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.